Hi guys and thanks for clicking on the video. What I wanted to cover today is how to clean and wax your strings and when you should be doing that. So in my opinion the most important part on any bow is the string and the cables on a compound bow but they are also the most vulnerable part of the bow as far as wear and tear is concerned. So it is incredibly important that you make sure that you do proper maintenance on your strings and cables in the compound bows case to ensure that you get the most longevity out of your strings. So one of the things that we see happen up at the archery club fairly often are new people come in with their bows and for some reason they're under the impression that every time they shoot their bow or every time they put their bow away they need to wax the strings before they do that. Now back in the good old days when string making materials weren't quite as advanced as what they are today that may have been the case but nowadays modern string making materials are already impregnated with wax before they're even turned into the strings and cables that are on your bow so that being the case as far as waxing your strings every time you use it is concerned it's definitely not necessary for you to do that in fact over waxing your strings can actually cause more harm than good if your strings are super sticky because you've got too much wax on them, the chances of dirt and dust and that sort of stuff getting stuck to your strings and working its way into the fibers are very high. And basically what can happen then is your string can destroy itself from the inside out. A lot of the time when that happens, you may not even notice until it's too late and you fire an arrow and your string snaps and you're wondering why. So if in doubt about whether or not to wax your strings, probably best to just leave it alone but there are a few signs that will show you that it is time to put a small amount of wax on your strings. Now before I go into what those are we'll talk a little bit about actual damage to the string. So generally it's fairly easy to spot the difference between a fuzzy string or a string with a broken strand. Now I'll put a picture in the bottom corner here for you guys to have a look at of what a broken strand on the string looks like. If you have what you think may be a broken strand and you're not quite sure, I would suggest don't shoot the bow because if there is one broken strand in the string or more, you run the risk of your string actually letting go when you fire the arrow and new strings are going to cost you a lot less than a new bow. So if you think you have a broken strand, I would say take your bow to somebody who you trust as far as their knowledge of it is concerned. They can have a look at it and let give you sort of a second opinion to let you know what they think. Um, alternatively, take it back to the store you bought it from, let the professionals have a look at it, or if you have a professional string builder that is, you know, within close vicinity of yourself, you can go there and get a second opinion as well. So as far as that's concerned, broken strands, definitely not a good thing as far as shooting your bow is concerned. If you do have one or more, you will probably need to buy yourself a new string. But the nice thing about that is if you're buying new strings for a bow that had a factory string on it, you can generally pick whatever colors you want. You can use that opportunity to customize your bow a little bit. Um, a custom made string for your bow generally will give you a little bit better performance out of your bow as well. So all of those things are there to be considered. So while new custom made strings might seem expensive, weigh up the cost difference between a whole new bow and a new set of custom strings. At the end of the day, I think the math makes sense. The new strings are definitely worth it. But I did mention at the start of that about fuzzy strings as well. So there is a bit of a difference. Now the two bows that I have in front of me here, this is uh, the recurve that I made. His name is Felipe. And um, this one here is my wife's Bowtech Carbon Rose. Now my wife hasn't been shooting for a few months because of injuries and things like that but um, looking at the strings on her bow they could definitely use a wax which is what sort of prompted me to make this video. As far as this one is concerned the string is in pretty good condition for the most part it just has a little bit of fuzz down here and most of what that is is basically shooting with a jumper on or you know and having the string rub across the jumper when when you're shooting it looks like it's picked up a few fuzzies from the jumper um, 
but it also looks like the string itself is starting to fuzz just a little bit. Now it's nothing to worry about. I'll bring them up close to the camera so that you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about. Um, and then I'll show you how you can clean your strings easily. And then we'll wax both of those strings and should be good. So what we have here is the recurve string. You can see for the most part that's in pretty good condition. No fuzzies or anything like that. But then as soon as we get to the bottom of the serving, you can see there that the string is a little bit fuzzy. So that to me means that it does need a little bit of wax just to bring that back to looking good again. Then we have the carbon rose. We'll see if we can get it to focus there as well. And you can see the string has started to sort of get these little bits of white fuzz on it as well. And that will be able to clean up with a very light wax job as well. So another area of wear on compound strings are where the cables come through the roller guard. So you can see on this cable here, it's starting to get a little bit fuzzy. Nothing terribly bad, but to me it looks like that bow could use some wax. So as far as this video is concerned, I'm not going to get into like which wax is the best wax and you know all that sort of stuff. It's up to you guys to research the products and see what it is that you think is going to be the best for your setup and your uses. Um, I use this particular wax when I do my strings. I've always used it, it works for me. Um, like I said, a little goes a long way. You really don't want to over wax your strings. Now, as far as cleaning the strings are concerned, I find the easiest way to do that is to take a piece of serving, loop it around the string, pull it tight, and then run that up and down the strings. You'll probably find when you do that, it will push some of the wax out of the string, but that's not a big deal because you're going to be reapplying a little bit of wax anyway. So as far as the recurve is concerned, I'll do that and show you guys how I do that. Um, I'll get this table out of the way because it, without a vise or a bow press or things like that, um, the easiest way that I find it is to actually put the bow between my knees so that I can run this uh, serving up and down the string without the bow flopping around. So I'll quickly get that set up and then show you guys how I do that. All right, so I've got my recurve here with a string that I'm going to be cleaning. I've got the serving material. As I said, I'll put it around like that, pull it tight, and basically just run it up and down the string. Like that. And we did actually get a fair bit of dirt off of that one. So I'll bring the camera in close when I do this side and show you guys try and show you guys what it is that i'm doing so we've got the string the bows pinched between my legs like that we've got our serving material and basically i just put it around as if i'm going to tie a knot but don't actually tie the knot so it's just around the string like that pull it tight and run it up and down the string So you can sort of see a bit of dirt came off the string there and there's a fair bit of dirt stuck to the serving material as well. So that's pretty much how I clean my bow strings. Now I'll do the same to the compound bow.
that's pretty much what I do as far as getting the old wax and cleaning the, the um, strings are concerned. The next thing that I'll do is actually re-wax the strings and show you how I do that. So I'll try and set it up so that the camera is looking closely at what I'm doing and hopefully you guys can see how it's done. Alright, so one of the things that you never want to do is put wax on the actual serving itself because if the wax goes underneath the serving, it can cause your serving to come loose and to slide up and down the string. So that is something that you really need to watch out for as well. So as far as waxing the string is concerned, like I said, we want to be very sparing with the wax. Just a little bit like that's enough. Then you take your two fingers and you sort of rub the wax. What you're trying to do when you rub the wax like this it's heated up enough that it melts and works its way into the string. You'll know that it's working when the string starts to go shiny because the wax is sort of coating the string when that happens. You should feel a little bit of warmth between your fingers as well. Not like hot to the point where it's burning because that's just silly. But um, that's pretty much what you're aiming for as far as that's concerned. And remember what I said before about a little goes a long way. You don't want excessive wax. You don't want your string to be sticky afterwards. Because it's just going to attract dirt and it's going to work its way into your string. back together again and that's pretty much it so if I bring it up close hopefully you guys can see the difference as far as that's concerned so as far as the recurve string is concerned. It's exactly the same process. Basically, a little bit of wax on the string. Rub it with your fingers to get it to melt. Try not to get any wax on the serving if you can help it. Now this is the side that had the bit of fuzz as you can see so we'll take care of that while we're here so again a little bit of wax and rub with your fingers And the fuzziness is gone and the string 
is sort of shiny. So there you have it. That's pretty much the process that I use to look after the strings on all the bows in my house, and I have been doing that for years. I've never had any issues with premature string wear or anything like that due to poor maintenance, um, but it's always a good idea to keep an eye on those things as far as your bows are concerned, because as I said at the beginning of the video, your string is an integral part of the machine that is your bow, and if that string fails, it's going to be expensive. So hopefully this video will help you guys know what it is to look out for as far as making sure that your strings are in good condition is concerned and also how to maintain your strings so that they remain in good condition now another question you may have is well how do i know when it's time to replace my string even if it doesn't have a broken strand generally speaking i like to replace the strings on my bows every 12 months but i think it does depend on how much you shoot and what how quickly your string starts to look all fuzzy and ratty and all that sort of stuff like i said when in doubt take your bow to a shop or to a reputable string builder let them have a good look at it and they should be able to tell you whether or not it is time for you to get a new string even well-maintained strings won't last forever and you will notice that when you put a brand new set of strings on your bow all of a sudden it will feel like it did the day you bought it so that's pretty much where I'm going to leave this video. Now, if there is a better way of doing any of this, or if you have your own way that you'd like to share, please leave it down in the comments. Um, I'm always happy to learn from other people. And that's pretty much what I started this YouTube channel for, was uh, to share what it is that I think I know, and also to learn from all of you guys to find out if there are better ways of doing things. Um, so thanks for watching the video. Leave a like or a comment below. Remember to click on the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And click the little bell icon so you receive a notification each time I upload a new video. I hope you all have a great week. And remember, just do good shots.